25 million Americans are bothered by a sound that travels with them wherever they go. We're talking about tinnitus. It can be really annoying and really impact your quality of life. So Dr. Rupa Shaw from SSM Health, she is a family physician and wellness coach, is here to talk to us all about it and offer some ways to control it. First, let's talk about what it is. What is tinnitus? So tinnitus is um, that kind of low grade um, buzzing kind of sound yeah. that people have in their ears. It can be actually high pitched or low pitched. It can be unilateral or bilateral, but overall it's, it's a big nuisance for folks. Um, it could signify that people have an underlying like hearing deficiency or hearing problem, but it could be as simple as you have some like wax in your ears that could be causing it too. Now there are some reports that the pandemic may have impacted uh, rates of tinnitus. What do we know about that? Yeah, so they haven't really reached a conclusion that the COVID-19 uh, virus has caused the tinnitus, but there has been some um, connections between it. But a lot of times viruses can affect the auditory nerve um, that, you know, sends signals to our brains. So there is some thought that the virus has exacerbated this symptom, um, and we've seen a lot more of it lately. Is there anything anyone can do about it? Like, is there ways to control it? Unfortunately, I mean, there's no treatment or surgery for it, but there are ways to control it just by um, using some sound machines that'll play sounds of like ocean waves or, you know, things like that. Um, people have also tried to use like biofeedback or, or counseling for it, but unfortunately there's no treatment for it. Yeah. Very yeah. interesting conversation. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it really is. Dr. Rupa Shah, thank you so much. Where can people find you on social media? Um, they can find me on Facebook or Instagram at Wellness with Dr. Shah. All right. Thanks okay. again. Thank you.